Hello guys, it's Xbox here. Today we're going to be looking at the Lone Survivor um, in his power armor. So, I just take this off, put his helmet on. He looks a lot like he's in the power armor. This is a black clone trooper helmet because it looks a lot like the helmet he does for the power armor. Wait a second. Maybe I'm. So I'll show you how I made the minifigure. To the clone trooper helmet, it made it black. Because that's the only type of sharpie I had that looks similar to grey. Now this is a bo just the body itself. I used the many micros, um, the many micros, um, black, if it was name of think. Ultron, Ultron, it is the regular Ultron pants. So then I also have this chest piece I had. There's two things right there. Just put that on. That looks pretty good. Now also I have an updated Lone Survivor. His printing looks torso pretty looks better. He still has his pit boy good. And he has a beard with some scratches on his face. And a backpack. And he has a flesh tone now. So there's Lone Survivor. Also, I tried to make a new um, Fault Boy person because I think it looks good, but there's one problem. He uses a Superman face. I only have one Superman. He's right like a Batman display, so I can't keep him like this. I'm going to have to switch back to the original, but he also has the front hair. It's also another reason why I can't use that hair because it goes to my screen new display, and that hair is... The front hair looks a lot better than this hair. So that's just an update Fault Boy. I like this one better, even though I can't keep him like this. So like, share, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. I'll see you next time.